Wimbuwe. A Wimbuwe, 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 a Wimbuwe. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Huh? Hello, everyone. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 79! Seven nine baby. <laughs> hey, Whoa! Don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. I gotta. Uh, one second. I just gotta see something. If I turn this, oh yeah, you can see stuff over there. That's what I wanted. Let me close this a little bit. It's not gonna close all the way. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. I'm gonna prepare. A little bit of uh, marijuana, dude. Oh, I've got everything over here. Can you see my shorts? Look at my short. Oh, that's my leg. You like that? It's hairy. Don't look at my belly. Shorts. You like them? Watermelon and flamongalon. Watermelons and flamongans. Oh, do I have a joint in here? No. Let's prepare. What shall I smoke today? What shall I smoke today? What shall I smoke today? What shall I smoke? Um, how's everyone doing? It's, it's episode 79! Crazy, huh? Who would have thunk? I say that every episode, and I say I say that every episode. Isn't that funny? NASA? NASA. Who's a NASA denier? Who's watching right now? Who is watching right now that thinks NASA has falsified everything that they've done? If you're, if you're, if you're one of those NASA denier people... I want you to comment in the comments right now and say, I fucking hate NASA. Can you do that? Can you can do that? You know, you're not supposed to curse on YouTube anymore. It's against the law. It's against the rules. But fuck the rules. We do things our own way around here. We do things our own way at the Dynamite Gizmo Studios. Laugh into the bank like, ah ha. Yeah. You know Kendrick Lamar? Hold on. I got, I got one other thing to do. Uh, excuse me, did do. Just have to blow my nose. Okay. You see this? Guess what this picture is. I'll give you a hundred million dollars. Here we go. It's been a while since I've had a hoot because uh, I've been cutting back on my marijuana consumption for a few reasons. One being, uh, let me come up. Let me come back up here. Let's put this angle back where she belongs. Bam! Right there, son. No, maybe over a bit more. Baba boosh, baba good, baba ganoush, right there, right there, ganoush. Um, what was I saying? Marijuanis, yes. Um, I kind of slowed down my uh, marijuana consumption because, for a few reasons. One reason being, uh, my tolerance was just way too high, and I'm taking a bit of a tolerance break. Blah break. But second, is uh. I've been smoking weed every day for five years now, literally every day, except for when I had to go away to work for like a few months the odd time. It was actually quite often I had to go away to work, but anyway, even when I was working away, I still found access to weed. I just got to clean the lens. 
Just gonna clean the lens. Just gonna clean the lens. Don't mind me. How's that? Um, yeah, so, uh, what I've come to kind of realize is that there's a, there's a slight feeling inside me that says, you, what else do you need from weed? You've really, you've, you've, you've explored almost every, I'm talking about myself in the third, third person, you've explored every well not every but pretty well all the aspects of marijuana you could you know you can't you could do I, I explored it I've explored it I've been there it, it almost feels like I've gotten to a point where I've 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 received everything I'm gonna get from marijuana but I I hate saying that because well, for one, I still have a strong connection to marijuana, but two, I don't think you can really find everything you, you, you're looking for through marijuana. And what I mean by that is, you know, you see, you see these people who smoke it their whole life and still enjoy it. So obviously they're still finding new discoveries with the marijuana and they are still exploring new pathways um metaphorically fig or figuratively speaking here you know but it, if you're a weed smoker you'll end, you will understand you get you have these moments after you smoke for long enough uh it, you kind of feel like i want to step away for a bit not everybody but i does and it depends on what's going on in your life or, you know, there's all kinds of factors at play. You stop, you start, you stop. I don't think I'm ever going to actually... Well, I can't say, you know. If you ask me right now, I would say I don't think I'm ever going to actually stop smoking weed. Uh, willingly. Because uh, I've only ever really received positive effects from it. Unless I get to a point where, like, my lungs can't take it anymore. But then I'll just eat weed, so. Honestly, I don't even know if my lungs can take it right now. From day one, no matter, no matter what, I'm, I, I have a, I cough like a maniac. I've, I've practiced, you know, I've been, like I said, smoking er day. For five year, with exceptions of work and whatnot. <laughs> and when I do smoke, you know as well as I do, I cough like a bamboozle. Some might think I'm hamming it up, but those coughs I produce, yeah, they're a little bit exaggerated, but they're real. Because I don't. If I'm going to cough, I'd rather, you know, make people laugh with my cough rather than be the annoying cougher. You know what I'm saying? You got to embrace the cough and use it to your advantage. Because uh, there's going to be a lot of times where you're smoking with your bros or whatnot. Or whoever, strangers even. And if they see you coughing normally, like a little pathetic, pathetic, uh, you're going to be, uh, it's not going to feel good, right? That self-esteem is going to gonna go, go down into the depths of the, of the devilly hell. I used to think, uh, I, used to, I used to imagine the devil was simply just underground in the earth I thought if you dug down enough you would find the devil in the core of the earth and whenever I would draw pictures as a kid I would usually incorporate the devil underneath the scenery that I drew because it was usually 
you know, at the house and the, the mother and the father. You know, you know the typical kid picture, like an outdoor an outdoor family picture. But then underneath, I'd always have the devil. The devil would always be there. What does that say about me? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask my therapist. <laughs> the fuck you laughing at, boy? The fuck you laughing at? You haven't even had your hoot yet. Talk about it. Talk about your hoot, but don't do the hoot. Laughing to the back. Yeah. Got Kendrick Lamar stuck in my head. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Do the Jolly Jolly breathing techniques. I don't feel like puking today, at least. That's what a nuclear bomb sounds like. Okay, let's do this. <sighs> Cheers, everyone. saying <sighs> uncontrollable cough sesh uncontrollable cough sesh uncontrollable cough. Uh, uh. Woo. Woo. everybody next episode is episode 80 oh fucking 80 I remember not that long ago I was like next episode is episode 70 it's not going to be long before I'm saying, Episode 90 is coming up! Bow! 94 is my favorite number. We'll talk about that, maybe. Uh, here's the card for today. Like, traditional traditions. I, I'm supposed to show you a little glimpse of the card, but... Not much going on in this episode, because... This was a last-minute, had-to-do podcast. I'm committing, right? You know, uh, I said to myself, ah, I'll just wait till tomorrow to do it. But then I was like, no, tomorrow's Wednesday. You've got a schedule of Monday, Wednesday, thir- Friday. And I'm sticking to it because I've been sticking to it. So if I got to fucking scrounge up a podcast without having any topics prepared, that's what I'm going to do. And I have done did that plenty of times in the past. Uh, so, I just wrote a few things down that were on the top of my head. You can do it. It's not like, uh, you know, I'm not the only one out here who rambles off the top of his head during a podcast. Uh, pretty well, you know, I'm not gonna say everyone, but a lot of the popular ones, that's what they do. They don't even have topics. They don't even have bullet points. Some just ramble. Whatever comes to mind. But usually they have a guest. Well, not even always. Like Chris D'Elia. Chris Dahlia. He don't... He doesn't have a guest, but he... I mean, he's he's a comedian, and he knows. He knows how to talk to an audience. In a comedic way. Whether he needs bullet points or not. He's He knows how to turn a conversation into a laughable moment. I recommend you watch Chris Dahlia. And yeah, I know his name's not pronounced Dahlia. I'm doing it on purposeness. Per perp. I actually did have a pretty good idea of what uh, I was going to do this episode, but uh, I need, I need, it's one of those things that actually needs to be prepared. I need to do a little uh, 
a little tiny bit of research and uh, and write some some major bullet points down. But hopefully episode 80 will cover that. And if not, it'll be the next episode that covers that. 81 or 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. Seems like so many to get to 90. But it won't take that long. It won't. Ow, my arm's itchy. It's only like a couple weeks. A couple weeks. And you're at episode 90! Oh no, do I get a poop again? It's rain. It's it's gonna rain hard within the next few hours. The storm clouds are rolling in. I already heard the thunder. Thunder! Oh wow, wow, wow! Thunder! Thunder! What did I do today? Let's talk about that. Well, I uh, went to work. Boring! We're not going to talk about that bullshit. And I never will. So don't expect me to. If you say, oh, would you please talk about your job? I want to know more. I want, I have questions to ask. I'm going to say, no. I'm not going to talk about it because you want to know why? Because even the thought of having to wake up and do that piece of shit job makes me want to puke. So to engage a conversation about it is going to make me want to kill myself. So no. You ain't going to hear about it. I. Thank fuck. Right, Olive? Olive knows what's up. I'll gladly talk about it once uh, it's not my job anymore. Like, if this podcast ever becomes uh, a masterpiece of... What is that over there? Is that just... Oh, that must be just a wall. Hold on, people. Yeah, there we go. Where was I? Right. If, uh, if this podcast becomes a, you know full-time thing then yeah when I quit my job I'll tell you about it but as for now you don't even get to know what I do (laughs) those were boogers for sure oh yeah baby when I do stuff like that, it's me thinking of what to talk about. Okay, so if you're wondering why is he not talking and he's just making noises, well, I'm stalling. I'm uh, stalling. Vladimir, St- what's his name? Stephen? Joseph. Joseph Stalin. I keep thinking his name's Steven for some reason. Steven Stalin. But that, as soon as I say it, I realize that's not, that's not the right name. It's Jose, or Joseph. Joseph. What if that was how you pronounce Joseph? Joseph. It's what the Spanish do. Hey! Tacos. What's your favorite taco? Or what's your or do you like tacos, I should say? Don't know what I'm talking about. I like tacos. Tacos are well, they were at one point in my life. They were my favorite uh food of Al Tam. They were my favorite food of all time. Maybe they still are, maybe they ain't. I, You know, I'm not even sure. If I really were to think about it, in this moment, would I say tacos are my number one favorite food? Yes, I think so. I really do. But I don't know. There's a lot of good foods out there. It's really hard to pick 
a favorite. And you know, I've eaten so many tacos over the past few years that I'm starting to wonder if I've had too much. And you know when you listen to a song, a brand new song, and you fucking love it, you love it so much that you listen to it over and over again every day, and then you get sick of it, and then, you, then you're like, fuck, I wish I didn't get sick of this song, because I still have a great emotional connection to it. I don't want to leave it in the dusty trail behind me, but sometimes you have to. And that's what I might have to do with tacos. I might have to send my tacos down the dusty trail. The dust. KDST. The dust. Remember that radio station? GTA San Andreas. The best. Grand Theft Auto. Of Al Tim. Uh, So what I wrote down on this card here is, well, first I wrote down what I wanted to do, but then I was like, I got to scratch that out. Because like I said, I got to prepare for it. A little bit of research, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So I took that and I threw it onto the next episode's card. So, episode 80. You'll figure it out what we going to do. You'll see. You'll fucking see. So then I wrote two, the first two things that came to my mind, and they're pretty well exactly the same. So it's going to be basically one topic. The first thing is Rain Wilson. And I only wrote Rain Wilson down because I, I wrote, first I just wrote Rain because it's about to rain and I like the rain and I've talked but I've talked about the rain way too much on this podcast and even I even did a little skit about it with Creature Dan. Creature Dan. Creature Dan. I might bring him back one day. He makes me laugh. So instead of writing just rain, like the rain from the sky, I threw a Wilson at the end of it. So we got basically three things to talk about from one guy's name. Rain Wilson. That's that's an actor. Talk about him. Then we can just talk about Rain itself. Or we can talk about Wilson. The the volleyball from Castaway. Tom Hanks' best friend. That he let float away in the ocean. Wilson! So who's Rain Wilson, you say? Oh, I should say what the other topic is. The other topic I wrote in here is The Office. So what what do you think? If you don't know who Rain Wilson is, well, Rain Wilson played Dwight Schrute. Uh, from Schrute Farms. Schrute Beet Farms. Dunder Mifflin, The Office itself. He was he played Dwight Schrute from The Office. If you don't know those other references I was talking about, you got to watch The Office. I don't care who you are. I don't care what color you are. I don't care how tall you are. I don't care how hairy you are. And I most certainly don't care who you are. But whatever the case, or whatever the case, case is that exactly what i said whatever the case or whatever the case you should watch the office if you've never seen it before give it a chance watch at least the first six episodes usually you know you you can give a show three episodes and if it doesn't grab your attention by then you fucking toss it in the garbage but the office is a really slow build Almost like uh, Game of Thrones. Okay? I've never watched it. But everyone says it's a slow build into liking it. You have to... You have to accept it. 
and just roll with it for a bit and then you'll really really enjoy it and I, I have access to game of thrones i just i don't know it's when it comes to tv shows once i'm into them i'm committed and i'm staying with it watching it every day until it's done but when starting off a new tv show yeah it's like uh, so much commitment so so much to focus on and it really it really takes over your life for a little while because it all you think about is i want to go home and see that next episode i want to know what happens i need to know and then that's all you talk about that's all you think about for the time until you're done the series and uh, you know, at in in that moment, it feels good. It feels good to like something and and commit to it. But before you, you before you're in it, you know, it takes a lot to jump into that pool. Just like anything, really. Fitness, you may not want to do it every day. You say, no, I don't want to do it. But then eventually you just got to fucking, once you do it and you're in the middle of it, once you get going and you're on a roll, then it feels so good that you just don't want to stop. You don't want to give up that momentum. And that, I mean, that's actually something better. You know, that's much better than committing to a TV show. What would you rather do, commit to a TV show or commit to fitness? I'd rather a TV show. <laughs> well, everyone should prefer fitness. The question is whether or not they're capable of actually committing to it. You know, I know I'm not committed to to that. I could if I really put my bum to it, but every time I've tried, I've only went once. You know, I went to a gym many times, but it, it was always like my first time after not doing it for a while like i'd go and i'd be like how does it so bad and then by the end of it i'm like eh, i don't want to come back here and then i never do and then another year will go by and i'm like yeah let's go to the gym this time i want to do it go in run on the treadmill do some weights and blah 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 blah, blah. and then go home and i'm like yeah that feels good next ne you know next time i'm supposed to go in i'm like eh, fuck it let's just eat some chips it's easier. I mean, I've done that many a times. Maybe someday I'll get to the gym. But today is not that day. Rain Wilson from the office. He has a YouTube channel called. Um, Fuck, what the hell's it called? I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, what the hell is it called? Something pancake? Soul pancake. Soul pancake. Robots in my thighs. He's he's a funny character. He was also on a, a show or a movie that Netflix made, I think. Called blah, 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 blah. I don't remember what it was called. Something Creek or something? I don't know. You'd recognize his face as soon as you saw him. The thing is about these Office characters, though, they've become, other than Steve Carell, those characters have only, you know, before and up to the Office, you never knew who they were, and then... And then, you know, they became ultra famous through the office for you know, like six years or however long it was. Nine years, I think, maybe. I don't remember. And then, you know, the office ends and they try to do other acting gigs. But no matter where you see them, you're like, oh, it's Phyllis. Oh, it's Creed. Oh, it's Jim Halpert. No matter what they're in. You'll refer to them 
as uh, their office character. Other than Steve Carell, that is. Because he was established before the office was even a ting. See, that's the key. Well, it's not the key. It's if you don't want to be known as the thing you were in for the rest of your life, the one famous thing you were in, then uh, establish yourself beforehand. All right? But even if you don't, it's not a big deal. Who cares if you're known as the person from that thing the rest of your life? It was a great thing, right? Like Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad. Whatever he's going to be in from now here on out, people will say, it's Jesse. Until, until you know, the new generation grows up. And the generation that didn't have Brocking Bad. Barack Obama bad. Barack Obama's bad. No, he's not. He's a nice, he's a nice black fella. He's a nice black fella. I said he's a nice black fella. He's a nice black fella. Oh, what's his name? His name's Obama. His name is Obama. 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 Hey, Obama. So, since this is a basically nothing uh, cue card type episode, we're just going to jump right into the news. By news, I mean Reddit. Reddit. I don't know if I'm recording the whole screen or not. Don't care. Black magic fuckery. Powerful. You have become the dark side I sense in you. Ba rum bum bum bum. No sound. This guy's pretty good. Is something going to happen? <laughs> oh, I see. He's just fucking with lights. He's not actually holding anything. <gasps> uh, you know, I got phlegm in my throat now. Uh-oh. I harked a loogie and I... Uh, I got nowhere to spit it, so I got to... I got to get rid of it. Uh, it doesn't go down the throat when you swallow. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. Swallowed it. Uh, found washed up in the UK by someone in a group. What do you mean, what is this? That's a fucking human hand, is it not? Someone asks, what is this thing? That is for sure a human hand skeleton. Right? Ah. Post over in bone collecting where you will get an ID and a bit less it's a human. I think it appears to too furry to be a human as well as incorrect in the forearm scratch that out leg bones ours ain't aren't fused or bent like that to be human and it's a seal hind leg agree it looks closer to an aquatic mammal my money is on gray seal how seals don't have hands like that look that looks like 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 a fingernails right there I don't know what do I know right oh no what have I done smack smack uh oh. What's going down? Is he gonna get shot? Nope. 
This look. This is oh in Calgary. When when was this was posted five hours ago? This is what we're getting right now. I live in Alberta, so this is coming towards me. Calgary is not far from me, so this is what I'm gonna get. This is remember I said it's gonna rain. I wasn't fucking joking. We're gonna get goddamn rained on. What do we got here? He's not putting cards down. But he act. What? Do you see this fuckery? Whoops. The guy. This should be in black magic fuckery. How does he do that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 hold on, no, gosh, can I turn autoplay off, I just wanted to see the guy catch the ball, and drink a beer, Brooklyn, you see his face after he drank that beer, that was a cool face, the Paramount Pictures logo on the day it was painted in 1985. Hell yeah. He painted it? I'm going to give that a like. Upvote. They painted it, but it's like a, it's an animated animation. Isn't it? My s The 16-year-old version of you just moved in and is now your new roommate. What is the first thing you two would fight about hmm that's a good question everybody learned kung fu fighting oh these are people Shaolin kung fu from above so yeah those mu that must be people then right moving around Pretty uh, coordinated. Is this song copywritten? Am I gonna get demonetized because of this music? What could go wrong if I copy my butt? Famous last words. Am I right? Why do people? Uh, I guess I guess I could see myself doing this. Well, I don't know. Not when I know that at any moment someone could come in. Oh, he fell in. I wonder if he's got glass in the butt. What's going on here? Bully gets knocked out in McDildos. I'm filming it. McDonald's UK. McDonald's UK. Yo, bitch! Oh, he's gonna knock him out. Knock him the fuck out! Knock him the fuck out! What's he trying to do? Do you see that try? That failed attempt at a headbutt? It's all on camera, my friend. Oh. Oh, come on. Hit him. Hit him. Madonna, Madonna. Yeah, boy. You just got knocked the fuck out. Oh, and kicked in the head. Uh, the, neither of them know how to fight. He just got lucky. And now he's acting. Fucking cunt. He's acting all tough. Women's USA basketball team versus El Salvador. <gasps> they're jealous. The El Salvadorians, they're jealous. They wish they could be tall. Look, there he is! Shout out to the camera crew, follow Jim and Roy. Oh my god, Roy's in it too? To the middle east in search of new clients. Like I'm saying, see? 
Jim and Roy. They're still referred to as Jim and Roy, even though they're not in the office. What a great callback. Thank you, Dunder Mifflin. Thank you. Guy approaches me while standing in line at a coffee shop in Cancun. Him. My friend says you are a famous person. Is that true? Me. That depends on your definition of fame. Him. Will you show up on Google if I search your name? Me. Yes. Him. Typing into phone. You are Tony Stark? Ah! Ah, what a... Wow, 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 Yeah, these old people on Facebook memes are sometimes funny. Sometimes they're just... Sometimes they're just too cringy to even look at. Oh, you hear my tum grumble? My tum tum grumbles. Nothing to see here. Just a dog being a dog. Mercury train, is that real? 1936? Is that real? I gotta read the comments of that. Art Deco was an amazing style view of it, but everything made in Art Deco style. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Lots of shit was, was made in this style. Like, fridges. They're so cool looking, huh? They so. Yeah, last time I did that, I muted my mic, you remember? Now I gotta be careful. Now, does this monkey know he's giving the middle finger? Or is he just mimicking? Oh my god! What the fuck is that thing? What the hell? What is that? Is that a cat? What is that? What the fuck is that? Someone's got to tell me what this is. What is this thing? Uh, <laughs> Ma! Ma, there's a weird fucking cat outside! That Michael Rappaport video was... F when that shit came out, I... Could not stop laughing. Hold on. Oh. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? A fucking cat? <sighs> hey, don't fucking look at me like that. That's a weird looking fucking cat. This isn't even the original video though. Ma! <laughs> Yo, there's a stray cat outside. I don't want it starting a fight with Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, it's okay. It's okay, Lucy. Don't worry about it. Ma! Ma! Ma, there's a weird fucking straight cat outside. It looks... It looks like Grandma the fucking thing. <laughs> hey, get the fuck out of here. I don't even know if that's a fucking cat. Blink, motherfucker. <laughs> Some <laughs> some people don't find that video funny, but goddamn, there's like I don't know how you can't find that funny. That shit's hilarious. Here we got a an otter with a ring. What is this? I watch Reddit and tell you what's going on. Yeah! Leave me alone. Letters can't stop me. Right? In the, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Uh huh. I do that too, bitch. Oh. I used to have these. They're cool until they're not that cool. Like, see, that's, you know, it's kind of cool, but it's just a piece of paper. It's just a piece of paper. Okay. Oh, he's got more. The the wolf and the... Oh! 
Okay. Okay, it's like a little rabbit pretending to be a wolf. Usually it's the other way around. And we got another one. What's this one gonna do? Squeeze his tummy. Oh, you got a sheep inside. Sheep, sheep, sheep. What else you got? Turtle. Okay, what else you got? Nothing. Get oh why does my kids PS Vita only have one game? Remember this though? Do you remember this? The water ring squirt push button game? That was the shit back in the day. This this is what I what we used to play with. Before we had access to um, any sort of portable gaming device. Like Game Boy. Game Boy was the first, wasn't it? Before that shit. It was this. So basically in here there's water. like Yeah. Or some sort of liquid. And then there's like, well, this game has two little spikes here. And you push this, I don't know if you can see my mouse or not, probably not, but you push the two orange buttons and it just squirts, you know, squirts a little, squirts air in there so that the, the rings can get pushed around. And then you try to get the rings onto the, the sticks. And, you know, this is a PS Vita version but usually they were just little squares <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying oh god this deer thinks the decoy is its mother how sad no one testicles on summer Uh-huh, okay. 100% blessed. Ugh. I hate baby photos. The, what does it say? These statues I saw at the ant antique mall reminded me of something. Wow. That's pretty similar. Look at that. Cats are... Cat, I love cats. Oh, get them. My most favorite merch. Outlaws for life. It's Jake Blake. And Jake Blake. There's two Jake Blakes at a dog park. Man takes a video from inside his bathroom. Building collapsing. After an earthquake. Yo, stop. Go, He's on the toilet. He's taking a turd. He's pooping. And the building collapsed. I've seen this before. Wow, two or popical stick popical sticks wow 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 now you gotta clean all that shit up no thanks eat my ass found that in the parking lot that's a that's a sign what does it say next big MCU movie you're gonna turn the squirrel into Iron Man look at that Told you. Fucking told you. Let's see the final result. Uh, oh, that's it? Just restarted? Screw yo. I'm not going to read that. Lil Sebastian. Lil Sebastian. Whoa.
What the fuck? That's a big bunny. What? Look at this. One year ago today, I left my local chapter of the Ku Klux Klan and have disassociated with the organization entirely. not real oh it is real it didn't look real in the first time i watched it but then the second time i realized he moved his lips take a look see those lips moving and he's gone what's this button oh comments rubber ducks this is the advertisement rubber ducks It just takes you to the advertising subreddit? What? Eat my shit, Reddit. My fingers grow hairs after a skin graft I got 16 years ago. Let's see. Ew! You're disgusting. They got it from my groin? The groin offers a relatively large area of skin with high elasticity. I got six inch scar on my groin. So that means you're growing pubes on your fingers. <laughs> uh, you are correct. This went from pretty darn cool. <laughs> Time deeply uncomfortable real quick. Hey, why do we find pubes gross? Because they live in ball sweat? These don't. It's really not that gross. Uh, that's so disgusting. That still looks gross, though. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't even look the same as his fingers. It... Yuck! You got ball skin on your fingers and they're growing pubes. The hell? Laugh into the bank like ha ah, ha ah. Yeah Well I guess that's it for Reddit Had enough of that shit I saw mommy kissing Grandpa. Guess what, everyone? Thanks for watching the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye! hurricane or, a, or or even a tornado like yeah laugh into the bank like uh -huh. yeah ooh ooh oh George, George, George of the jungle, watch out for that tree.